Hello! Today I'm going to go through the process of creating a nick for a custom character model and creating a yaw and pitch animation to go alongside it. Hopefully this showcases the process of creating such and teaches you a thing or two about modeling and animating these such animations. To begin with this model, I'm going to do the usual convert vanilla parts. And since we're creating a model with a long neck or such, say my character's body would typically be wider than usual. The head, to help with animation, we're going to move the root of the head to the height that we want it to be. So let's make it eight blocks tall. Uh, as for the neck, we can start by adding the base of the neck, which uh, we can start with a seven block wide and a couple block shorter block than the torso, so six. Uh, depending on how you prefer to do your animations may depend on this. I prefer to angle the origin point of my necks to the direction that they will be bending. So the first point of the neck will be bend bending backwards. So the origin point will be here in the front. And then on the next block, it will be bending forwards. So the origin point will be on the back. Let's give it a color. Make it purple so we can see it better. Uh, I'm going to duplicate the top piece, move it back into position. Now I'm going to quickly adjust this a little bit to make it look a little better. And we can put the neck, the head, however we please. Uh, I'm going to make the blocks a little longer. so we can curve it a little more. So this will be my base structure for a neck. For any neck animation. It's, it's a very scuffed neck. It doesn't look like any of the ones I would normally make, but this is just for presentation purposes. So with my neck built as so, uh, let's move on to animation. So to start, I like to start with the pitch animation. And I prefer to use trigonometric single, though poly polynomial single may look better in some cases. I avoid polynomial because sometimes the front facing, directly front facing animation, sometimes is skewed off in either one of the directions instead of being straight down the middle, instead of facing straight ahead, whereas trigonometric typically curbs that issue. At least this is from my experience in the past. So to begin with the head pitch, I want to start with the, so this will be my standing frame, my basic frame. And I will start off by creating three frames, one for it looking up, one looking straight ahead, which is the default, and one looking down. Uh, in an old version of the customizable player models mod, there was an issue where the animation that it's playing here automatically was inverted and incorrect, but luckily in newer versions of customizable player models that has been fixed. So I'm going to move the origin point of the head up so it lines up better with the neck, and I'm going to move the neck backwards a little bit. And then on the looking down animation, on the looking down frame, I'll move the head forwards and down a little and rotate each of the neck parts like so. Uh, so since I have the origin point all the way here at the front, there's a bit of an issue where I've rotated it too much and now the back has separated from the neck. So I'm going to use editing of the position to remedy this, which doesn't always look the best, but it is how I do it.
and <laughs> it looks really off, but <laughs> I hope that gives a basic understanding of the animation. Although it looks quite odd. And if you want to test this in the test section, it should be under held item, head pitch. And in the animations, because these blocks aren't using a texture, they appear to change their color in the animation. Uh, and the problem with this is the animation of the actual head itself is not updating. So the best way to test this is in-game. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to also animate the your animation. Uh, for the your animation, this is the one that I would especially have trigonometric single set to. Since it is the most noticeable one of the two. Uh, so in this case, we'll have three frames to start with. Frame one off looking to the left, so we we'll want to uh, move the head off to the left. Maybe move it back a little. And we'll rotate each segment of the neck. And maybe even we can uh, rotate the head. Uh, none of the animations on the root seem to do well for rotating the head, but we can rotate the uh, base block like so. Which, I haven't done this myself on many animations, but it's a, probably a neat little thing to add, a little addition to make. And since I can't be bothered doing the whole process again for the other frame facing in the other direction, I'm going to delete the right facing frame. Now, I want to create the frame for facing to the right. Instead of doing that whole process all over again, I am just going to copy this frame and mirror it. And by doing so, I can just remove the other one. And just by being on this frame and clicking plus, it will duplicate this frame and put it on the last of my list of frames I have in this animation. And to simply mirror this, I can click the ellipses here and mirror part pose. And that will mirror the pose for that part. And I will do this for every single piece that I made changes to. And since I believe most of the time these animations look a little odd when uh, only animated to the extreme so i'm going to i'm going to create two new frames of both of the extreme angles facing frames and i'm just simply going to go to those frames and i am just going to uh reduce how dramatic they are This is rotated by 30 degrees, so I'm going to reduce that to 15. And I'm going to move the root to a better position. And since I don't want to go through the effort of copying that, I'm going to delete this other frame in the opposite direction. Duplicate that. And then mirror each part pose again. And that's my basic head yaw and head pitch animations. And with that, I'm going to quickly save the model and test it out in game. All right, test in game. And then we can see the abomination that I have created. <laughs> And you can see, in-game, the model doesn't look exactly 90 degrees to the left or right while standing still. The only situation where it does so is in a boat or vehicle, as you can see, since the body is locked in place and doesn't allow it to rotate when you turn. 
And I hope learning the basics of the animations like that can help you create your own head pitch and head yaw animations for your own models. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or if you want to ask me, get a response sooner, you might be able to catch me live on Twitch at desert underscore tortoise, and I may be able to answer your questions there live on stream. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.